Hello, and welcome to the Eugene Family YMCA YouTube channel. My name is Colleen, and I'll be leading you today in a Pilates-based workout on the mat. As always, consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. Make sure that your space is safe, and that if you get lightheaded, dizzy, or short of breath, that you please stop. All exercise is done at your own risk. If you regularly practice Pilates, know that the mat level workout I'm doing today can be up levels. I will give both levels for lower, middle, and high, but know that you can always work higher if this is a common practice for you. If you are new to Pilates, please use caution and know that when both the feet and the head are off of the ground, you can relieve tension by releasing a foot down or releasing the head down. This will help with your neck, abs, and back until you build up your core strength. Okay, so we're gonna get started coming down to our mat. Always the safest way is to come down onto your side and then roll onto the back. In Pilates, we like our hips, knees, and ankles to be in two parallel lines. And the back is what we call neutral, meaning there's a little bit of low arch underneath my low back right now. So in this neutral, neutral position, I'd like you to set your hands to the side of the body. We're gonna start with just warming up the, the joints and the muscles. We're gonna shrug both shoulders up towards our ears Imprint them, pressing them into the mat, and then sliding them down. Then we'll take an inhale, draw them up towards the ears. Exhale, press in the mat, and slide them down. Two more times, inhale up. Exhale, and slide. And inhale up. Exhale, imprint, and slide. Now for the pelvis. The top of the pelvis and the bottom of the ribs have space in between. And what we're looking to do here is to engage our pelvic floor and our abdominals to shrink that space, all right? So we're gonna take a breath in into our rib cage. We're gonna engage the pelvic floor with a little squeeze, flatten the abs, and gently push the low back into the mat. You're gonna inhale and release that. It's gonna be very natural for you to push your feet into the ground or to squeeze your glutes. I'm gonna ask that you let the musculature inside of your core here do this work. So breathing into the ribs, exhale, contract the pelvic floor, contract the abdominals, and gently press the low back into the mat. Inhale, release, and exhale, and print, engaging those muscles. Inhale, release. You may not even be able to see this, but you can feel it. And exhale, engage, and imprint. Inhale, release. And exhale, engage, and imprint. Okay, we're gonna lay those hands down by the side again. Work on drawing our chin down. So the back of your vertebra runs from the top of the shoulders underneath the base of the skull. And we're gonna lengthen that. So we're gonna inhale and draw our chin down like we're holding a big, fat navel orange or a softball, and then we're gonna exhale and release that head back to the neutral position looking at the ceiling. So we're gonna inhale, draw the chin down, lengthening the vertebra, and exhale, release that back to neutral. And inhale, draw that chin down, and exhale, back to neutral. Okay, so we're gonna combine a couple of things here. We're gonna add our abdominals to lift our head, neck, and shoulders off of the mat. We're gonna hold the neutral back at this point and not work the imprint yet. So the hands are released here at the side of the body. I'm gonna inhale and draw the chin down. As I exhale, I'm gonna engage my abdominals and pelvic floor, gently lift my head, my neck, and my shoulders from the floor. I'm gonna hold it here and take a nice inhale in. Keeping those abs engaged, but breathing in the rib cage, and exhale, lengthen the vertebra between the shoulders, the back of the neck, and return the head to neutral. A little microphone here, hold on one second. All right, let's try that again. Inhale, draw the chin down. Exhale, contract the abs and the pelvic floor. Bring the head up off of the mat, and the hands reach towards the hips. Hold this here, abs hold, breathe into your ribs. And exhale, lengthen through the spine, drop the back of the skull, and rotate your head to the ceiling. A couple more times. Inhale, draw the chin. Contract, exhale, curl, and come up. Inhale, hold. 
And exhale, release this down to the floor and uncurl. Okay, now we're gonna layer on a little bit. We're gonna imprint that low back as we do this work. You're gonna reach your hands up and towards the ceiling. Now, if you're new to Pilates and you need a little bit of help on the neck, you're gonna hold one hand behind the neck, okay? Otherwise, both hands reach the ceiling here. You're gonna inhale, draw that chin. This time, as we engage those abs, we're gonna exhale, roll up, and tap our knees. We're gonna hold this here. Only thing that's gonna move is our arms. We're gonna inhale and lift our arms to the ceiling. And then we're gonna exhale, lengthen all of that vertebra back to the ground, and uncurl the head. So inhale, draw the chin. Engage the pelvic floor and the abs. Exhale, touch the knees. Inhale, lift the hands. And exhale, return to the floor. Again, reminding you, you can hold your hands behind your head with one or both arms. Let me show that option. Inhale, draw the chin. Exhale, contract, reach up and tap. Inhale, lift the arm. And exhale, return to neutral. Inhale, draw the chin. Pelvic floor lifts. Exhale, roll and tap. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, return it to neutral. Let's take a moment and hug those knees into our chest. Roll side to side and give that back a moment. Okay. Little shoulder isolation. Reaching both hands towards the ceiling, I'd like you to tap the back of your shoulder blade to the mat so you can feel that in contact with the mat. And then I'd like you to lift your fingertips with straight long arms, straight elbows, reaching towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach. And exhale, slide and let the arms retract down towards the mat. Inhale, reach. And exhale and slide towards the mat. Inhale and reach. Exhale and slide towards the mat. And inhale and reach. Exhale and slide towards the mat. Now a little range of motion here. We're gonna take our right, or your right arm, reach it overhead, and you're gonna stop where your shoulder stays engaged. So a lot of times we can lift this arm all the way overhead, but our ear and our elbow and our bicep here all become friends. I'm looking for that space that when you reach that arm down, you still have this open space here in your neck and shoulder area. So we don't wanna to go too far on that overhead reach. So we're gonna inhale, reach our right hand over and our left hand lowers towards our hip. And we'll take a nice deep exhale and sweep and change the arms. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now I'd like you to turn your palms so that they both face towards your feet. Still in that same position. Inhale, and exhale. Thumbs are facing towards the body. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Hold this here. This is gonna feel slightly uncomfortable for some, some of you, and if it does, go back to one of the other positions. We're gonna turn our thumbs towards our feet, and we're gonna turn our palms away from our body. Same exercise, you may not have the same range of motion here. It'll be an inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And then inhale both hands to the ceiling, and release those down. Nice job with that. Go ahead and roll those arms out. Okay, we're gonna come up into what's called the hundreds. The hundreds are a famous Pilates exercise. First thing you need to know is that your hands are at the side of the body. You've got these miniature basketballs right underneath there. You're gonna be bouncing those basketballs, okay? It's gonna be a long arm from the shoulder to the fingertips, no wiggly basketball. Nice straight arms, bouncing those little balls in small controlled movements. Feet can stay on the floor for level one, feet can come into tabletop for level two, and feet can go into full extension for level three. I'm gonna work my way through those and show different variations as we do the hundreds. Your breath is going to be five breaths in through your nose 
and five small breaths out through your mouth. So kind of like you're blowing out through a straw. That helps to engage more of those deep core muscles. If you are newer to this practice, leave your head on the ground and keep your feet on the ground. If, as you start going through and you're at a higher level and it starts to feel like your neck is starting to bother you, come down a level and take care of yourself. All right, I'll start with feet on the ground, hands reach to the ceiling, inhale, draw my chin down, engaging my pelvic floor and my uh, abdominals, and then exhale, they come up, I'm gonna start bouncing those little balls. All right? And I'll start with a sit. Two, three, four, five, blow. Two, three, four, five. sure that we have a right angle right here at the armpit and the right angle at our hip, okay? From here, our hands are going to splay out onto the mat. We're going to have a nice flat tabletop, so notice that I'm not sagging in the center and I'm not curling and arching here, nice and flat. We're going to take a breath into those ribs again, just like on the floor. We're going to pull up that pelvic floor and we're going to do a pelvic tilt. So we're going to pull that pelvis underneath us and release it back to neutral. It's a small movement. Take a breath in, exhale, tilt and pull that pelvis underneath you, and exhale back to neutral. And pull it underneath, and exhale back to neutral. Now we're gonna work our way through our spine. The head will be the last thing to go down, so please try to articulate from the tailbone all the way up through the head. Take a breath in, contract the pelvic floor, tuck, pulling the abdominals in, coming up through the mid-back, releasing through the shoulders and letting the head drop down. Hold here for a breath into the back space. And as you exhale, uncurl the hips first. Flatten the spine, wide through the shoulders and chest, and bring the head to frame. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, draw the pelvic floor and curl from the tailbone, through the mid-back, through the upper back, the shoulders and the head. Hold here and breathe into the back of your ribs. And as you exhale, uncurl the tailbone, flatten the hips, mid back, through the shoulders, and bring the head to frame. One more like that. Inhale, draw the pelvic floor, tuck, curl, arch, and release. Take a breath and flatten the hips, go back, mid back, shoulders, and head. Open those knees up and push back into a child's pose. Hands reach out in front, hips push to the back. This is a nice stretch. From here, we're gonna come back up and we're gonna work on a little bit of preparation to go into a plank. So we're gonna curl our toes underneath. We're gonna have that right angle at the hip, right angle at the shoulders. I'd like you to lift up a little bit. I want you to kind of lift out of those joints. Open up those fingers, and when we take a nice exhale, we're gonna lift the knees off the floor just big enough for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just that big, no bigger. Take a nice inhale, breathe into those ribs, contract that pelvic floor and core, pull the shoulder blades down towards the back pockets, and exhale, lift the knees. Yep, so much fun. <laughs> and release that down. Take a breath in, engage, strengthen and lengthen your core, and lift. Don't forget to breathe. And release. One more time, I think we can do it. Take a breath in, engage those abdominals, and lift. And come. 
and down. Nice work with that. Moving into our plank, there's lots of options for plank. So you can be on your elbows, you can be on your full arms, you can be on your knees, and you can be in full plank. I'm gonna show you a little bit of modification. So if you were on full arms, and you're not quite strong enough where you have low back issues, I'm gonna ask that you stay on your knees. But I'm gonna have you bring your feet up so that we come off of the kneecaps, okay? We're wide through the shoulders. Our abs are engaged, our shoulders are pulled down, and our head is in frame. This puts a lot of pressure on the neck. So lengthen that spine from the tailbone to the top of your head. So that would be a lower level option. If you have wrist problems or arthritis in your hands, use this. So you can actually do that same plank, but do it on this. Next option is going into a full plank. For this one, same thing, you're gonna set that core, you're gonna set that tabletop, you're gonna step back with one foot, and step back with the other. And here we are. This, not good for the neck, so bring that up into frame, looking between those fingers, and come down and come off with those hands. Okay, two more, any way that you wanna do them. I'm gonna let you pick this time, all right? So I'm gonna do one at low level, then I'll do one at regular. You decide, if you wanna stay up the entire length of both planks, go for it. So we need to remember abs are engaged. Squeeze your glutes, that helps too. Pull your shoulder blades down, chest is wide, collarbones are wide, neck is long. Whew. If you want to stay longer, stay longer. If not, take a break and we'll do a second one. Wiggle those wrists if you're taking a break. Second option, you get to decide what you're doing, or maybe you're still standing up in that plank. Again, open up the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades to the back pocket, engage your abs, squeeze your glutes. Whew, keep breathing. I'm gonna breathe with you. Teaching and talking. <laughs> Run that little breath here. Engage those abs, keep that head up in a good frame. And come on down. Nice job with that, everybody. We're gonna work onto our stomachs now. So coming down onto your belly, open up your feet, hip distance, slightly wider towards the edge of your mat there. Hands are gonna touch the edge of your mat. Forehead's gonna touch the floor. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to pull up our belly so that it's not touching the floor. And as we exhale, we're going to lift the back of our head, our neck, our shoulders, and just the top of our shoulder girdle. Down below, we're engaging our core, holding nice and tight. Take a breath in, and then lengthen that spine as you exhale to the floor. Tap your forehead down. Inhale, pull up your belly, open up your ribs. Exhale, lift like your head's a balloon. And you just blew it from the floor and it's lifting up. This is no way a push up. The hands are just here for support. Breathe in and exhale and lower. Two more like that. Inhale, engage the pelvic floor, slide the shoulders down. Exhale, float the head, then the neck and the upper part of the shoulder girdle. Take a breath in and lower to the floor. One last time. Inhale, pull up the belly and the pelvic floor. Lower the shoulders. Exhale, float the head, neck, and shoulders. Take a breath in and exhale, lower it down. All right. Release your hands, shake your hips, help that low back. 
From here, it's gonna be just the legs. So you can stack your hands under your forehead like this to support it. Don't do what I'm doing, which is turning sideways. <laughs> Once you figure out what I'm doing, you can turn your head to the floor. We're gonna lengthen those legs behind us. I'm gonna slide my leg out, just one leg out, reaching as far as I can, like I'm trying to touch something behind me. I'm gonna engage my glutes and quads, and I'm gonna lift that leg. And we're gonna hold it. And one of the things that you're gonna do right now is shake your shoulders, get any tension out of your neck and shoulders. And we're slowly lower that down. Now with the other leg, reach it, like you're trying to just reach something on the floor right behind you. Squeeze and lift. Holding that, releasing tension in your shoulders. And lower that down. All right, reach with the opposite leg. Squeeze and lift. Reach and lift. Other leg, reach and lift. Reach and lower. Now, we're going to do what's called a swim. We're gonna alternate our legs here. So let's go ahead and reach one leg behind us and lift it. And we're gonna take the other leg and we're gonna switch. And 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 switch. Now hold both of them up. And lower that down. Good job, shake those hips out. And go ahead and push back into that child's pose. Let's give that little back a break. All those planks and leg lifts. All right. We're going to go into side leg work. And after that, we're almost done. So hang in there with me. You're going to lie on your side in a complete and straight line. You're going to rest your head. Very natural to do this. I'd like you to lay your head down here. Take your top hand and push your hip away. Both legs are pointing far away from you. We're going to lift the leg up. Notice that my leg is only lifting so far. When I lift higher, I start to sink back. So really it's about smaller movement here. So hand on that hip helps you notice if you're rocking back and forth. We're going to inhale and lift. Flex the foot. Exhale, squeeze. Return to a point. Inhale, lift. Flex. Squeeze and point. Lift, flex, squeeze and point. Inhale, lift, flex, squeeze and point. Two more, lift, flex, squeeze and point. Last one, lift, flex, squeeze and point. Hold that point, lift the leg parallel to the floor, and now with your toe, you're going to make tiny circles on the wall opposite of you. Your hand in the front can act like a kickstand but we shouldn't be making too much movement in the rest of our body. Reverse it, both directions. And bring that leg down. Now we're gonna take that top leg, let it float again. We're gonna reach that bottom leg, point that toe and reach, and we're gonna lift it up to meet it, and lower them both down. All right, here comes the fun. Inhale, lift, lift, exhale, lower and lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Last one, lift, lift, and lower. Good job. We're gonna bring those knees out in front of us. So we have like a little slope here. And the feet are actually, your heel is in a line with your touch here. So that's how far we're going back. It's a nice angle behind the knee. Again, stack those hips up. We're going to lift that knee this high, okay? We start to lift more, we're rolling backwards. So we're only lifting to here, and we're going to lower it down, barely letting it touch. Inhale, lift, and close. And lift, and close. And lift, and close. And lift, and close. This is usually where people fall in love with me. And close. A good side leg series always makes me a favorite. And close. And lift. And close. And lift. And close. Keeping the same position, 
bring the knee up. Now we're rotating inside of a ball and joint here at the top of the feet. We're gonna drop the knee down. And then we're gonna rotate and bring the feet together and the knee up. So it's all here in this hip socket. So stay, stay stacked, please. Drop the knee and drop the foot. Drop the knee, oh yeah, go with that. Drop the foot and the knee and the foot and the knee and the foot. Good, lower that down. Give yourself a little hip pound here. That usually brings a little more blood flow back to that hip. And you're gonna spin like a turtle on its back. But I am not because I have the microphone. I have to switch, so just stay with me for a moment. Switch your sides. Okay. Coming over onto this side. Back to the beginning, nice and long. Resting the head, relieving the neck. Put your hand on that hip so we can make sure that you've got your hips staying stacked. We're gonna inhale, lift, flex, exhale, squeeze, and point, inhale, lift, flex, exhale, squeeze, and point, inhale, lift, flex, exhale, squeeze, and point, and lift, flex, exhale, squeeze, and point, inhale, lift, flex, exhale, squeeze, and point, last one, lift, flex, exhale, squeeze, and point. Go ahead and make small circles. Remember this hand can be a kickstand in front, Little circles with that toe, drawing on the opposite wall. And reverse that. You guys are doing great. Stay with me. Lower that leg. Okay, top leg lifts to parallel, bottom leg lifts up, and we lower them both down. Lift, lift, and lower. 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 One more. Lift, lift, and lower. Bringing those knees to the front of the mat. Nice angle here. Remember to keep the foot in alignment with the tush back here. Down we go. Stack those hips. Lift the knee and lower down. Lift the knee and lower down. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, just two more, lift and lower, and last one, lift and lower. Rotating up inside of this joint, we're gonna drop the knee down, drop the heel down, and the knee comes down, and the foot comes down, and knee, and foot. And knee, and foot. Knee, and foot. And last one, knee, and foot. Release that leg down. Give yourself a little bit of love. All right. On to our backs. We're going to bring our legs up into tabletop. So if you and your low back can handle this, just bring the knees to tabletop. If your low back has some issues, you can go ahead and slip your hands underneath the back of your pelvis and bring it into tabletop like this. Okay, that will help you stay imprinted. We're going to drop our knees to one side. So hands come out if you don't have them underneath your back. Hands will come out for a little bit of support. Your shoulders all the way down to your ribs are staying on the ground. So as I drop my knees over here out of your sight line, know that my ribs and my shoulder are staying down. That's as far as I can go. I'm gonna take a nice exhale to bring that to center. I'm gonna to inhale to drop and exhale to center. Inhale to drop, keep your shoulders and your ribs on the floor. Exhale to center. Inhale to drop and exhale to center. Inhale to drop and exhale to center. One last one and center. Bring those knees in. Now, if you'd like to level this up, the legs extend, okay? If you are feeling good with where you're at, keep them in the tabletop. Otherwise, legs are going to extend here. We're gonna lower them to the side. Take an exhale to center. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and 
exhale. Whether you have a knee bent or a leg pointed, I'm gonna give you both right now. We're gonna make a circle. We're gonna drop it to the side, lower, sweep, and come up. So it's either a drop, lower, sweep, and up, or a drop, lower, sweep, and up. Two more on the side, sweep and up, drop, lower, sweep and up. Bring that in and we'll go to the other side. Again, you can have a bent knee or a straight leg, drop, lower, sweep and up, or both bent, lower, sweep and up, or both straight, drop, lower, sweep and up. Two more, exhale. And last one. Woo! Bring that in. Oh my goodness. Feet on the ground. Let's just do a couple of bridges here and then we'll call it a day. Feet flat on the floor, hips, knees, and ankles into your toe lines. Relax your shoulders down. Slide your shoulder blades towards your back pocket. Take a nice breath into those ribs. Contract that pelvic floor. Squeeze those glutes gently, gently imprint your low back, and then with your feet weighted in both the ball of the foot and the heel, I want you to peel every vertebra, come up into a bridge that stops at the shoulders. No pressure on the neck. Legs stay parallel. Take a breath here, and we'll come down. Every vertebra, it's like a bike chain. Every link of the bike chain is slowly coming down. Abs and pelvic floor stay engaged. We touch the low back, and then we release the tension. Take a breath into the ribs, draw up the pelvic floor, imprint, peel, lift, little vertebra by vertebra, up to the shoulders. Take a breath, and slowly come down, every vertebra, link by link by link, to the low back, and release. One last time, inhale, Draw that pelvic floor, pull the navel in, start to lift. Make sure the weight is in your heel and your toes. That helps us from cramping. Take a breath here and slowly come down. Every vertebra, slow and controlled. Abs stay engaged all the way through until release. Beautiful. You made it. Hug those knees into your chest. Give a little side to side roll. Thank you so much for joining me today for Math Pilates. We'll see you next time.